Well, I'm back at the Forbes Mill Museum. I'm going to take a walk from here with Carl Essex, my friend from church. So I thought I'd get some background for any more videos that I take. I'm not sure whether I'll take much on the walk or not. This was his suggestion of where to meet this time, so that's what we're doing. Wow, here's an ancient tractor that I didn't see the last time I was here. The museum is not open. Uh, it's Monday. July 11th, and it's only open Wednesday through Sunday. I am early because I had no idea how long it was going to take to get here, or even how to get here by car, having walked the previous time I was here. through the Old Town Shopping Center, and now we're in the actual Old Town, which is kind of behind the shopping center and off to one of its sides. A lot of historical houses here that Carl was aware of, but I wasn't. Kind of some gingerbread there. Yeah. Shingle-style house was built in 1886 by John Myers. It's carved wood pediment with designs and relief and colored glass are all Victorian features. 1886. Yeah. Queen Anne. They like I'm in Cape, Cape May. Member and later president of the Board of Trade, now called the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> yeah, we can view his highlights. Highlights here in uh, 1898. Well, it looks like beautiful. Yeah. Okay, go. Beautiful inside and out. Well, we keep going up. Yeah. And Romanesque style architecture used for residents. This style was usually employed, employed only, usually was only employed for public buildings. So, huh? Huh? It got converted to it. This is this is for uh, Teresa Clinton here. <laughs> Victorian Romanesque. Dated for 50 years, is the lone survivor of a line of ground bound houses that ran from three houses to four buildings. Built in 1891. Was a funeral home for most of its years, and apparently is a restaurant now. Although I'm not sure of that. Palacio. Yeah, they had to make it into a 
<laughs> yeah. But it was the mortuary from about Wow. Here's the menu. Oh yeah. Yeah. Twenty eight dollars for it. Residential architecture. That's one of the oldest houses we've seen. 1885 was owned by a pharmacist for a long time. Small town life. Oh, this avenue is my soul. Wasn't that the original builder of that house? Oh yeah, built in 1885 by F. Marcos, Yeah. But it was named, it's called the Watkins House for its second home. He was a pharmacist. We had to take a look at this old lot here that has just grown up in weeds, but it's probably worth a million dollars. Nice view of the hill over there. Beautiful street with an even more beautiful view. Under that huge tree. Malpas Taylor House. Alfred Malpas was the manager of the Los Gatos and Saratoga Fruit Company. This house was built in the early 1890s, possibly for him. It is noted for its decorative facade and spectacular stained glass window. In 1947, Lawrence Taylor, a minister, purchased the property. Badly damaged in the 1989 earthquake, it has been beautifully restored by builder Tim Lentz. It is now owned by benefactors of Taylor. They allow Taylor's wife and daughter to live there until their death. Wow! Huh. Yeah, it looks occupied. I love this chain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't think I was going to survive that one without taking it on my elbows. Ooh. Beautiful house. Kind of too bad they put that flagstone in there. Kind of out of character with yeah. all the rest of, you know. Yeah. This, this is kind of all right. But even that's kind of out the uh, washed stone. It's a neat house. It's got a lot of nice stained glass windows in it. Yeah. A couple of them you can see. The original features of this two-story house remain. Ornamental pediments and cornices in the slender porch building. It was built in 1893 by G.C. Crummy, the son-in-law of John Bean, who invented the Bean spray pump. Family huh. son John joined the company in 1900 was a home of George Hook, owner of the Los Gatos Canning Company from 1894 to 1906. Mr. Hook was one of the first Los Gatos residents to install electricity. Huh. I had to take this one mainly for the flower garden. house was built circa 1990 with later additions. Yeah, you can see they added the thing on top. 
around 1896, was one of the first dentists in Los Gatos. Huh. Oh, 